excited to bring to you a little class about basket making. And this has been my um, way of recycling materials and giving them some form to kind of a fiber sculpture. I've been doing this for 40 years and I enjoy it because it brings me a lot of peace. Um, I kind of get into a Zen moment when I'm doing these things. But um, the other purpose is I take a lot of things that we would normally throw away and I repurpose them. Uh, these are items that are from the mills and the salvages, as well as products that we've developed. And then just even mixing in some hardware wire to kind of have almost like a lacy effect. Um, playing mat, or excuse me, mat against sheen just really makes me excited. So today we're going to do a simpler version. Um, and I'm going to give you a little bit of instruction about how to make a basket. I call these projects waste not, want not. items that we need to make sure we have for our project. One is an upholstery core material. This is what they make welt out of. It is a fiberglass like material. You can buy this on Amazon. You want to make sure to get the soft version so you can use it and ply it as you make your basket. This is a half inch size. There are all kinds of different dimensions. There's quarter inch, there's three eighths inch, etc. Um, in this case I have half inch. You need a big scissors for cutting your fabrics into strips. Um, and again, these are remnant fabrics. These are not brand new things. Pillowcases, men's ties. Uh, it could be an ace bandage. Uh, it could be, again, leftovers from our fabric development bins. That's what where I have some of these items that I come, come up with. Discontinued fabrics. Sometimes even just jute can be a nice little tying element. So you've got that and your scraps, a little bit of masking tape, and then a sharp pointy scissors because you're going to use this as both a needle as well as an ability to cut the ends as you tie your knots. It really is all about knotting the fabric. So I also like to get started with an idea or a concept before I begin. So these are ceramics that I've been collecting for the last 30 years since I've lived in Hickory. And they're from the Catawba Valley um, Potter's Guild, if you will. And I get one and I, you know, they're always signed on the bottom, which I think is so cool. But these are very proud people that make these beautiful ceramics. So I love the idea of stripes and different clay bodies that create the stripes. So it's not gonna mimic exactly the colors, but it's gonna mimic the concept and the shape of the vessel. So when you get started, you actually are going to coil first, excuse me, you're going to wrap. You're going to wrap your core, the upholstery cord, welt, and you're going to wrap it. And it's okay that it's fraying and not perfect. As I said, these are scraps of things. They're not always have perfect salvages, etc. And you're going to, in essence, wrap your cord, then you're going to turn it in on itself, stick the yarn through or the the fabric scrap, and you start to create this coiling effect where it just keeps wrapping upon itself. Um, the hardest part about all of this is starting it because it wants to kind of spring open. And so this is um, kind of in essence what it does. So you have kind of the flat side of the ribbon or the scrap, and then you have the cut side. And I'm gonna just demonstrate one more real quick. So again, you're gonna go back in Push it through, excuse me, I went to the wrong place. Here we go. Push it through and then pull it through like that and then tie it twice. If you only tie it once, it can come unraveled. So you wanna tie it twice. This is not a really sophisticated technique. It's really just about knotting and, and then the smooth side. And I do keep the scraps. So we're gonna, Stop that, and we're going to show you my um, what I project I've been working on this um, weekend. This is sort of my rainbow effect. It's in a diagonal repeat, and I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration about how we continue to build this. Also, just as a, a note, footnote, if you want to create a different shape, you can easily just tilt it down and start tying there, or you could tip it in and start tying 
on the inside. So you start to create different shapes depending upon where you tie it a pot as against the, the, the previous row. pieces inside. I save all these scraps because I hate to waste anything and I give these to schools or I use them for craft projects like little collages. Um, I'm very excited about it and at the same time I hope that you enjoyed yourself that maybe you had a little time to watch and zen out for a little bit and uh, I'm looking forward to speaking with all of you in person one day. Stay safe and I'm Mary Jo Miller from HBF Textiles. Thank you.